Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogfest. So if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome, my name is Katie and this is my Vlogfest for 2022. I'll apologise in advance. I have come back from a weekend in Bournemouth, well a night stay in Bournemouth, and I've now got a cold. <laughs> Even though I'm wrapped up, I still manage to do a cold. So this haul is going to be a big Primark haul. We went to Primark on uh, the day we come home and I absolutely love that Primark. It, I think it's one of my favourite Primarks I've ever been to. So we have got one big bag and one smaller bag. So if you'd like to know what we have picked up from Primark in Bournemouth, for December 2022 and make sure you keep on watching. So before we actually get into Primark I want to show you just two items that we picked up on the Bournemouth Christmas market. Um, we had planned maybe to buy a couple of other things as well but it was really really busy and yeah so we just got these they're actually from a stall which sold like hand painted ball balls so yeah we picked up well me and Adam chose one each so I'll show you um, what they are uh, they came in these little packaged uh, boxes um, yeah and they're from a uh, business called Covent Garden Gifts, so it's a shop in London. Um, so I picked up this one, um, they've just got a really nice soft lining, they're like proper glass like googles. So I picked up this one, obviously, we've got to find some space on the go on this tree here. So I picked up this lovely, like, iridescent one. And I absolutely love it. And so pretty. Very different. And I just love the uh, scenery on it. Hopefully, the camera is playing ball today. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's got a lovely iridescent throughout, and it's just a, a lovely. Little seed on it. So that was my one. I think they're both nine ninety nine each. So you probably think that's quite pricey for a ball ball, but you've got to think that they are hand like painted and things like that. And um, yeah, so for we treat ourselves and get a ball ball each. <laughs> so that was my one. Um, this was Adam's one. You got like a traditional London one, <laughs> and yeah, because he's from like London way. He just wanted, I think he just wanted like a London bubble. So here's one. It's gonna look very different on the bubble, on the bubble, on the Christmas tree. So it's just this little like London scene on the bubble. which I thought was really nice. Obviously great quality and it's just the same on each side. So yeah, very, very pretty. So I'll be putting them on the tree after I finish doing this video. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you them because I've got to add them in the uh, video for Bournemouth.
So I'm going to crack on this time up haul because there's quite a lot to get through. So first thing I'm going to show you is a jacket that Adam got for himself. It's the only thing he actually got for himself because he didn't realise how pricey it was until after we uh, paid for it. So it's one of the uh, NBA jackets and it's like a bomber style jacket. It's like leather and it's obviously got the Lakers on and it's got, has it got Lakers on each? Oh, no, it's got the uh, L for Lakers on that side and it's got Los Angeles on the back and it's really nice, I actually tried it on as well <laughs> it's got a purple lining it's really heavy as well purple lining inside and it's just like proper as like a standard bomber jacket and yeah so he was really happy with that this was £40, so you might think that's a bit pricey, but the fact that it's a proper LA Lakers bomber jacket, it's got like the proper NBA like labels and uh, stitching on, and it's like the sleeves are like leather material as well, cuffed at the bottom. So yeah, he was really happy with that. So that was the only thing he got for himself in Primark because he didn't realise how pricey it was but I can understand why because it's a proper like LA Lakers bomber jacket so I'm just going to put that down there okay, let's carry on with this big bag because I have got a chair next to me because when well, I'm not feeling my best it's going to be a lot of effort bending down <laughs> so okay I think this is basically my stuff in this bag so the first thing I got was some more of the thinner style scrunchie. I thought it was the Christmas season I can get some sparkly ones. Um, so yeah, it's got a little pack of six. They were two pounds, so I thought they would be nice for the winter season. I wear scrunchies any year, all year round, but because um, they were sparkly, I thought they'd be good for the December season. Next, we have these. I wanted to get some when we went to Birmingham, but I didn't have as much money on me. So I managed to pick up some of the velvet plush leggings. Um, if you don't know about these, these are leggings which look quite small, but they do stretch. And they have inside like a velvet, like lining so they keep you like extra warm but these were, these were seven pound they had lots of colors i just went for this like oh it says charcoal at the top i'm blind <laughs> uh charcoal color i got them in large slash xl because i know they did look really small when you first open them up you think oh, i'm not gonna fit in that but they do stretch so i just got them in charcoal because i thought that would be like the most neutral one to have so I'm looking forward to trying those. I'm probably not going to insert any trial clips because I'm not feeling the best, but when I do wear them, I'll let you know how they feel. So I've got those. Um, there's quite a lot of Harry Potter stuff in here because when we go to our normal Primark, which is in Basingstoke, but it is going to be one opening in Salisbury next year, the one in Basingstoke has no Harry Potter stuff. Like, I see all the Harry Potter stuff from Primark and I'm like, it's not near me at all. So, when I saw this Bournemouth Primark had an array of home Harry Potter stuff, clothing, as in like nightwear and things like that, I was so like in shock. I was like, oh my god, I need to get like at least a couple of things. So, I did. I bought myself some socks. These are obviously trainer socks. Uh, what was it? Pack of four? Yeah. So, pack of four trainer socks. They were four pounds. So, you obviously got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and 
Hufflepuff. Oh, Hufflepuff's your boy round. <laughs> uh, Hufflepuff as well. So I'm very excited to see those. I hadn't seen any of this kind of stuff before. So I was really happy with those. They were £4. I'll just deviate away from the high Potter stuff for a brief moment. <laughs> I bought Louis a new Christmas decoration for his tree. So I got him a little snowman. Yeah, snowman. Um, so this thought that would be another unique decoration to have for his Christmas tree. And yeah, they had loads of unique ones. I saw pizza ones, donut ones, but um, I just got this one. It was only a pound as well. So I thought that was quite good. So I'll put that on Louis's tree. So I'll put that down gently. <laughs> so um, I've also got this plain long sleeve top. Um, I didn't realise it was cropped until just now. <laughs> So, um, I'll just have to uh, roll with it. <laughs> so, it's a higher neck one. Um, you'll see um, in a future video, I've got some higher neck tops, which I wasn't too sure about. But once I tried them on, they actually look really nice. So, hopefully this one will look nice, even though it's cropped. And I got it in a large, which is a 14 to 16. Um, Hoping that'll still look okay, um, but it's just a grey, higher necked, long sleeve top, and as you can see, it's very cropped. So I don't know what I'll do about that, but I shall see what to try it on. That's the only thing; it was just folded, and I thought, "Oh, that looks like a nice top." I just picked that up because I've been trying longer, like uh, higher neck tops on and things. So I thought that was nice, and yeah. No, did I tell you how much that was? I didn't think I did. So this cropped uh, long sleeve top was six pounds. So I've got that. They had them in all different colours. So I could have got more, but I thought with the things that I've got, I didn't want to go too bad because um, Adam was paying. <laughs> so back to the Harry Potter stuff. Um, I'll go with this first. <laughs> uh, I saw this alongside the socks actually. It was in like their pajama section for women. So it's a night shirt and it's just this t-shirt night t-shirt style night shirt. So it says Hogwarts on and it's got a giant Hogwarts crest on. And yeah, it's just grey and green. And on the back, it's got um, H. Potter and number seven. So it's like Quidditch style. Um, so as I said, it's just like a night shirt, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a general night shirt because it was with the the, the shirt style pyjamas, which they had in the Harry Potter ones, but I would have got. But the trousers, I prefer cuffed bottom trousers. I know they were like loose flared ones and I tend to like trip over things like that. So um, I just went for the night shirt. They didn't actually have my usual size. So I'm hoping this will still be fine because obviously where it's a night shirt, it's going to be oversized. So I actually got this in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. So, and as I said, it's just a night shirt anyway, so I'm going to wear it in bed. You could wear it as like a t-shirt dress, I suppose, but um, I'll just keep it for wearing for bed. So I got that. That was £11. So you're obviously going to be paying more because you're paying for the Harry Potter Wizarding World brand. And speaking of that, <laughs> I was so excited to see these next two items in Primark because, as I said, any Primark near us does not have any Harry Potter merch. <laughs> So I've bought some ball balls, Harry Potter ball balls, which are going to go on the tree, the Harry Potter tree that is, next year. So, um, yeah, these were £4.50 and it's a set of four um, and I'll bring the image closer because I don't want to open them just yet. So you get four ball balls there. One says Lumos, one says 
platform now with three quarters. One is the Golden Stitch, and the other one just says Forbidden Forest, I think. So I thought they were uh, quite unique because, again, as I said, I have not seen anything like this. Um, they did have like the chibi cartoon Harry Potter decorations as well, but I'm not as much of a fan of that style, so I didn't pick any of those up. So I picked these up, and these are four pound fifty, and I don't actually know what they're made of. Does it say? No, it just says four pack decorations. So well, that's that. So I was really pleased when I saw those. So they'll be on the tree next year. <laughs> and um, last thing in this bag, again, is ball balls. And you're probably going to shout at me thinking, why the hell have you bought this when you've got loads of Harry Potter ball balls already? I just got too excited. <laughs> um, just the thought of like seeing Harry Potter ball balls that I don't get to see like ever near me in a Primark. I just snatched them up and even though Adam was like, oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just really, really pleased. I'm really excited. So there's going to be lots of extra ball balls on the tree next year because they have this set of ball balls for £14 in Primark. So I know I've paid like double the price for the one that's already on the tree because this is the same amount of ball balls as the one I've got on the tree right now. So, um, but it's a complete, well, nearly a completely different set. So it's different colours, you get, um, I think it's a mini, a yule ball type, ball ball, I'll turn it round, it's, yeah I think it's the yule ball um, symbol, you get a Harry, general Harry Potter one, a Hogwarts castle and another Hogwarts one and some other ones, so I'll just quickly show you the image because again I'm not opening these until next year. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll try. I'll switch the camera around and I'll do like a little extra clip at the end of the ball balls, just in case. So these are probably the more like muted uh, colours, um, maybe metallic style. Apart from these, these obviously are the shiny ones. But uh, yeah. So we've got an extra platform going three quarters and obviously the smaller ones we've all got extras of now. So yeah, I was so excited because obviously I haven't seen these before. And I just go with all the other Harry Potter decorations. <laughs> so yeah, even with like the extra small ones, if I ever wanted to fill out this tree more, then I've got extra ones that I could potentially put on it. So yeah, they're the two lots of Christmas ball balls. And that is this first bag done. So I'm just going to sort out the second bag and we'll come back to you with the second part of the video. So I wanted to get some of the cosy soft pyjamas because when I last went, they weren't quite out yet. So that was one of the main things I wanted to get in Primark. <laughs> So I got these soft pyjamas, Louis, and they're aged six to seven, they're six pounds, and I instantly got them because they've got an ast astronaut on, rockets on, space planets, because Louis loves that, but I didn't realise on them, it actually says, give me space, <laughs> um, so I don't know if that's a bit weird, but um, I just got them genuinely because they've got space, like astronauts and things on and planets. So they're the pyjama bottoms, and they're honestly so cosy, so they're going to keep them nice and warm. Um, and this is all like 3D, like stitched on. So I think that's really good for £6. Um, really nice, soft, cosy pyjamas. So I've got that set for Louis. The second set, I just got him some uh, marble uh, ones. So these I've got Captain America on. And uh, what if it is? I thought it was one of them, like, uh, what are they called? 
you know, things that move. Oh, I think it is. You know what I mean? Lenticular, that's the word. So it's got the shield and then it moves to Captain America. So these were £8, so obviously you're paying for this lenticular bit. Um, age 6 to 7 again, and obviously it's Marvel as well, so you'll be paying for the brand. So Captain America fleecy pyjamas, so that's the trousers. So yeah, uh, age 6 to 7, so I got those for Louis. I'm not going to think I've gone bad. <laughs> I did, because the Primark near me doesn't really show, doesn't have, really have a home section, doesn't have a gift section. So as soon as I saw these things in this Primark, I was literally like, oh my god! <laughs> so I did buy a couple of the gifts in the gift section, and the Harry Potter related. But I think I might actually do this one during Vlogmas. So it's a little metal tin but it's a baking kit so it's um a kit to make the harry potter jumpers in uh sugar cookies Let's bring that forward and this was actually reduced i think this one where's the receipt i've got the receipt here i know these two sets i've got a two gift sets so this one and another one um this one do, 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 do. kind of skips i can't remember one was reduced to six and one was reduced to four so i think this one might be reduced to six either way they were both reduced <laughs> so this one should have been ten pounds so comes with the decorative tin, yellow icing tube, and iced sugar, eight iced sugar cookies. Oh my god, so they actually come already pre-made. I need to open this. Now I'd show you guys. <laughs> Let's take this off because I'm keeping this one for myself. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Have a look, have a look. Oh, they actually come pre-made. You just have the icing to do the, the letters. So you get eight pre-made cookies. So four in the blue for Harry. And four in the red for Ron. And then you just get the uh, yellow icing to do your initials on. That's actually really good. I think this one might have been the, I can't remember now, I took the stickers off yesterday. <laughs> I know one, it says one was reduced to four, four and uh, one was reduced to six. So either or, that is really good value. You're getting pre-made cookies and you just got icing yourself. And you've got a little decorative tin to use for storage. I think that's amazing. And if you have children that are into like baking and things and you don't want to make the cookies yourself you've got pre-made ones in here which hopefully still taste nice they're just i think normal like sugar cookies so i've got that the second one is for a gift and i know my per this person doesn't watch my videos i don't think so so this one was seven pounds i think this one i don't think this one was this might be the one that was reduced to six because it's still quite a nice set so this one is a ravenclaw cookie baking kit it includes sugar cookie mix and cookie cutter so again a harry potter uh, baking set just take that off whilst i remember <laughs> um and yeah, I think that's quite nice. So you obviously get the uh, mix already. So you just probably just have to add, let's say, it should, oh yeah. You'll need two tablespoons, no, two teaspoons of water, what, 40 grams of butter and an egg. So that's all you need. So pretty easy thing to make. Um, get and bake. So you obviously get the pre-made, like, dry mixture and you get this little raven claw cookie cutter 
that's like a little plastic one. A chair. So I think this one was reduced to six and the other one was reduced to four. So I thought that was really good. And again, I don't get to see anything like this. Um, I just thought of one of my friends who's a maiden claw might like to do this with her children. <laughs> so yeah, really, really happy that I've got these little gifts. They had um, lots of other ones in different fandoms as well. Uh, I'd like Coca-Cola style um, gifts as well. It was just so much. I was so surprised and just loving life. Like we went in um, in time for opening as well, so it wasn't as busy. And this Primark had a Costa in it. Like on the floor where we come in from the car park, it was like the men and kids section. And there was a Costa like in the middle of this Primark. So um, Adam managed to sit in there with Louis for a little bit whilst I went round and did some shopping and then we swapped <laughs> because Louis can get a bit overwhelmed shopping. So that was really good. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really, really just so surprised. So this is, I think, the last Harry Potter item. <laughs> and I thought this would help me with keeping organised for next year, especially if I'm really wanting to throw myself into YouTube properly. Like, we've got quite a few uh, little breaks planned next year and things like that. But I thought this would be a good thing to buy. This Harry Potter notebook. <laughs> so it's got Hogwarts on the front. Obviously the castle, which you can see. And it's A4 size and open it up. And it's got four house dividers. So you've obviously got Gryffindor and it's just A4 lines of paper, I believe. So lots of paper, lots of space to write. So you've got the Gryffindor section, you've got Slytherin. And this one. Oh, this is a um, extra one, which has just surprised me. It's got this general one, which has got all the houses on. Um, unfortunately, Laban Claw fans, it's got the Raven, not the Eagle. Um, got that section. We've got Hufflepuff and last but not least we have Ravenclaw. So I thought that was really good. Again, I hadn't seen any of this kind of stationery before, so I was really surprised. And it's yeah, it's just a general A4 lines notebook and it was four pound fifty. So I thought that was quite good for obviously it being an A4 size book. Um, they had, I think, some other bits and bobs, but I just wanted to get a couple of bits because Adam already probably thought I was mad getting the Harry Potter Christmas decorations. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to using that next year to keep organised. Um, yeah, really, really happy. And with it, we think we're going to go keep going back to that mob because... Basingstoke is a big one, a bigger Primark, but it's not, it is, doesn't feel as nicely laid out. Like this one had a nice layout, it was on two floors, obviously with the escalators. The Costa as well, obviously that helps. Probably see lots of people there waiting for the other half to finish shopping. <laughs> um, and even after you finish your shopping, go in there and have a rest. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Last few things now, so not too much longer. I managed to get some of the matching soft Christmas pyjamas for me and Louis. <laughs> I've got one pair already, um, but I wanted to get some of the more cosy ones um, just to wear in another, maybe in another type of video or just to get some nice pictures in. So I got, I think I had to get these in five to six for Louis because they did all the six to sevens, all the, that age was gone. So yeah, I had to get a five to six for Louis. So you are paying more because they're matching family Christmas pyjamas. So these were £10 for this set for Louis. 
add to like screwed up them attached to each other. So we have let me look at the trousers up first actually. So they're just a green, really soft, cozy material. It's got uh, gingerbread people on, presents, Santa, uh, and they are cuffed at the bottom as well. Um, really, really soft and cozy. I was really, really pleased that I could get these because I saw these on a few people's like shopping videos for Primark. And I thought they are the Christmas pyjamas that I want for my mark. They also had, which I would love and love to be as extra as that, they had a snuddy in red with this design on. And I was just loving life. And I was like, oh my god, I would love to be able to get that. But I think Adam would have been like, no. <laughs> so obviously the top is the same. Um, and yeah, so that's Louise. Christmas pyjamas and then I got myself a pair so I got them in a large so 14 to 16 because you want to be comfy in them don't you so just the same Christmas pyjamas extra soft and cuffed at the bottom and now my husband is ringing me <laughs> so we've got Gingerbread, presents, Christmas tree, Santa, and yeah, so I've got those. My trousers, I've got my sort of pockets on, <laughs> and my matching top. These are going to be so warm. So my pair was £13. So, da -da -da -da. So again, just the same, just extra cozy. So that's my Christmas pajamas. And last but not least, a bit random. I thought they would be fun to wear around the house. <laughs> These uh, knitted style. What do they call them? Trousers. Legging jogger style trousers. They're not itchy, they feel soft, so I thought these would be quite funky to wear. They did have, I'll talk about it in a bit actually, but these are these like jogger trouser knitted things. <laughs> I just thought they might be cozy to wear in the house, and they've got pockets. Um, so yeah, obviously, it's the uh, Fair Lyle, is it Fair Lyle? So grey. Um, with candy canes, gingerbread people, hearts, um, snowflakes, and as I said, they go down. They are cuffed at the bottom, which I was loving. Um, and I got them in a large, which is a 14 16. So when I do wear them, um, I'll show you what they look like on. They were £10, but I think it's because they're like knitted style trouser leggings. <laughs> um, so that'll be something funky to wear. So that, my friends, is both bags empty. So that was our Primark haul for December 2022. We don't get to go to Primark very often, but as we were away, we wanted to um, go in. And um, as I said to Adam, I wanted to try and get some bits for Christmas. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Really, really love Bournemouth Primark. If you are local uh, and you don't like your Primark, I would suggest going to this one. Obviously, it's got other shops in the shopping centre, but this Primark, I think, is one of my favourite Primarks I've ever been to. Um, so, yeah, I probably overload of Harry Potter stuff, but as I said, I don't get to see it very often in Primark. So, yeah, so that is going to be December's. Uh, Primark haul and um, the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to leave a like and if you do I'd really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and let me know if you see have seen any of this stuff in your local Primark. One thing I really really wanted from this Primark 
when I saw like the Christmas clothing, they had so many nice like just cozy jumpers, but were all all the sizes that I would go for were gone. I saw the most crispiest, Christmasiest cardigan, but again, all the bigger sizes were gone. Like they only had smalls and extra smalls, and it was this red cardigan with gingerbread and candy canes on, and I would have loved to buy that because I love cardigans. <laughs> Um, and I was loving life when I found that, but unfortunately it was not meant to be. So yeah, but I'm going to leave this video here because I've got to put all this away and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please don't forget to leave a like and if you do, I'd really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. As I said, there's loads of vlogmas videos and I'd love to grow my channel even more. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.